where am I supposed to start? Um, honestly, I didn't want to have kids for a while for a number of reasons. The biggest reason being I was enlisted in the Minnesota National Guard. I'm in a place in my life that I'm happy. I'm still nervous and scared for the future, but I'm happy. Um, so I kind of realized that if you're subscribed to my channel, if you watch all my videos, you probably don't really know that much about me or about the situation that I'm in or about my channel or about where I plan to go to my channel or about what I'm doing with my life or the situation or I think I already said situation, but I'm going to say it again. And I kind of want to just explain, oh my God, my hair, all of those things to you guys because I just feel like... You're probably a little bit lost if you're trying to sort of know what's going on and you don't. And, yeah. So, where am I supposed to start? Okay, so, um, I'm 19. As you know, if you watch my channel, I have a 8-month-old daughter who is the absolute light of my life. And I love her to death. I would do anything for this beautiful girl. And I'm just, I'm so happy to be her mom and to get to experience what it's like to be a mom, even though I am so young. Um, how did I get to this place where I became a mom at eight, well, 19, I guess? Um, well, you know, I was dating this guy for a while. So when I got pregnant, we had been dating for eight months. So I guess that's really not that long. That's probably really bad. Um, but I think things just got a little too serious, a little too fast. And maybe got serious because there were other problems going on. And we wanted to be together. I don't know. But... Um, so I got pregnant in January of 2017. Um, honestly, it was not something I was expecting. It's not something I was planning. It's not something that I wanted. Um, honestly, I didn't want to have kids for a while for a number of reasons. The biggest reason being I was enlisted in the Minnesota National Guard. And I had recently enlisted in the Mass Minnesota National Guard. I enlisted in November of 2017, um, like a month after I turned 18. So my mother couldn't say, heck no, you can't do that because I was an adult and I could do whatever I wanted and that's what I wanted to do and that's what I knew I wanted to do. And yeah. So I was going to be um, an air traffic controller in the Minnesota National Guard. I was supposed to go to basic training um, August of 2017 and I would be gone from August until around March because I'd go from basic training right to my AIT job training. Um, and that was going to be so exciting. Like I was so excited for that. That's something that I really, really wanted to do. I was I was excited and I always knew that I wanted to be in the military, especially after my sister um, joined the military. My sister is in Army ROTC at her college and I knew I wanted to do something with the military but I didn't necessarily want to do that. Um, so I did something a little bit different and it was something I was super, super excited about. So I started going to drill, which is what you go to. Um, I started going in November, I believe, went November, December, January, February, March. Um, in March is when I found out I was pregnant. I found out I was pregnant um, on my spring break trip 
to Arizona. My parents had moved to Arizona in January and I was still living in Minnesota at my parents house until they sold it and then after that I was going to move in with my friend Olivia until I went to basic training in August. So I was living by myself at the time traveling to Arizona for spring break to go visit my family to go see their new house all those fun things and at that time I had been sick for like a week I was throwing up I was not feeling good I was so tired and so finally after throwing up who knows how many times we went to the emergency room because we didn't know what was wrong I didn't I didn't think that I was pregnant I didn't think I um, could be pregnant and I don't know why I thought I couldn't be but I just like I don't know so I found out I was pregnant in the emergency room when I was on spring break vacation my senior year of high school and that kind of just put my whole life at a halt for a while because if I would have stayed in the National Guard um, six months after my daughter was born I would have been going to basic training and I I physically like I could not have done that like emotionally physically like I could not have done it I couldn't have left a six month old with anyone with her dad with my parents like I just couldn't do it so when I figured out I was pregnant um there was so many decisions that I had to make in such a short time just because it was things that were really serious that I was dealing with that I didn't really know what I was going to do. Um, I had planned on going to college and I wasn't planning on going to college right out of high school like the next fall after high school because I was going to be doing things related to the military so I plan on going the year after that which is what I am still going to do um, just not because of military things at this point um, so there was a lot of decisions to be made right then and the hardest part for me was the relationship that I was in, the person that I was in a relationship with, like, you can tell yourself you love someone as much as you want, you can tell them you love them as much as you want, but when there's something missing and you don't know what it is, it's, it's hard. And I, I spent so long trying to figure out what's missing in this relationship, what like how can I fix this how can I don't know just so many things and it's just it's still so frustrating to me because I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail I might offend some people I don't care only specific people if they decide that they want to watch this two weeks after me and my daughter's dad started dating so like this was before pregnancy was ever a thing before we had gotten serious or anything I told him that things weren't working I said I don't think this is gonna work because I'm still I'm still getting over a breakup I'm still getting over a really really bad relationship and I don't want to put you through all the things that I'm going through I don't want you to have to be around when I'm going through all of these things and as much as it was that and I didn't want him to be um, having to deal with all of the emotional problems that I was going through I I didn't want to have to put my attention into a new relationship while I was still getting over an old relationship two weeks two weeks after we started dating I said hey this is not working 
and honestly, I he basically begged me to stay and to try to work on things and to work things out because I don't, I don't know, and I still kick myself for just like not going with what my heart told me, with what my head told me, and that's just, it's sucky, but I'm convinced at this point that things will work out for the best, things are working out really well right now, um, as you know, if you watch videos, me and my daughter's dad are not together, um, he doesn't even live in the state, he moved back to Minnesota because I am now living in Arizona. We moved to Arizona together um, to live with my parents because they were offering us a lot of support and it would save us a lot, a lot of money and I could go to college um, on a full tuition scholarship because of my grades in high school and just like there were so many reasons why this just made sense for us and I never really even thought at the time that there was a possibility for me to move here without my daughter's dad because when you have a baby with someone you think that you and the baby's other parent should be together, should be in the baby's life, and, you know, sometimes it doesn't work out that way so well. Um, honestly, I wasn't feeling super supported. I felt like I was doing so much on my own, and maybe I was getting as much help as I deserved, but it didn't feel that way. I didn't feel... I didn't feel loved, I didn't feel like, I didn't feel supported, I, I was doing too much on my own, considering the fact that there was another person there that was responsible for the situation, if you, if you know what I mean. Um, and so, when my daughter was four months old, I asked her dad to move out. And it was for a lot of reasons. At the time, I said, hey, um, this just isn't working. It's not working for us living together because I feel like I'm living my life around you when I should be living my life around this new beautiful baby girl that we have. And really, I just felt like I had her. I didn't feel like we had her. I didn't think. I didn't feel like it was something we were in together, and so I felt like alone, I felt like I was, I didn't feel like myself at all, and I was talking to my mom not too long ago, and she was saying how when he moved out, I started becoming myself again. I started being silly and just fun, and I started singing again, which she hadn't heard in a long time, and that just, it made me so sad to hear because for four months, I wasn't, I wasn't being the best mom that I could be to my daughter, and that, that hurts me so much. <laughs> because I was trying and I felt like I was doing everything that I should. I was being protective of Annabelle. I was trying to do everything that I thought was right and I was trying to have to defend myself every time I did something that her dad didn't agree with and in like he's not even here anymore. So I don't I don't know why I cared so much like he could have stayed around here, he could have stayed within the city, or within the state, um, and he chose not to, he chose to live him, his life for himself rather than for his daughter, and 
I can't blame him for that because I have a beautiful girl that I get to see every day and take care of and be a mom to and that's that's such a huge reward for me. I absolutely love it and I just, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with where things are right now. I'm happy that I've found someone <laughs> that I can talk to that makes me happy and I'm not getting into that just because it's not important right now but I'm just like I've been so happy lately and I started my own business which is really just it's not like a legitimate business but I'd like to kind of consider it that because I put so much effort and money into it and so if you don't know anything about that I started an online website where I sell um, handmade baby things um, I sell quilts, bibs, burp rags, taggies those types of things all for babies and then I make like pallet wood signs that I hand paint and I absolutely love them and then like cards like birthday cards holiday cards all those types of things and so I started that um, not too long ago um, my website is up and live so if you want to go check that out I'll put the link in the little little I'll put the link in the description so you can check that out um, but things are just so much better now than they were because I feel like I'm not living my life around someone else. I feel like I'm living my life for me, for my daughter. Um, I'm doing all the things that I feel like I should be doing. I'm starting college in the fall, which is in like a month, honestly, like a month and a half. So that's kind of like scary, but kind of exciting at the same time. Um, I'm looking forward to like meeting new people and making friends and maybe making some friends that are in kind of the same situation and I don't know if I'll have those types of people at school or if I'll just meet them through other things but that's just like that's exciting to me and so I'm I'm in a place in my life that I'm happy I'm still nervous and scared for the future but I'm happy and I just like I haven't been this happy in so long so it's nice to be in this place. Um, I didn't expect to be in this situation at this time in my life. I expected to be... Where would I be right now? Well, I mean, I'd be in Minnesota. I'd be still starting college in a couple weeks, but I would be in the military. Um, I would be, like, working once a month with military things and learning new things there and probably having another job and going out with friends and like all those things that I'm not doing now but I'm convinced that there is a reason for everything and that things are going to be fine and that this happened for a reason and that if it wouldn't have happened the way that it did like I don't know. Things just wouldn't be the same. So, I'm happy with where I am. That's kind of where I'm at. If you guys have any more questions, I'll do a Q&A for you guys. Um, if there's enough questions and whatever else. But, I just wanted to get on here and talk about that. Because I feel like you guys are probably a little bit lost. And, if you've never watched any of my other videos before, welcome to my channel. I'm Taylor. I'm a loser. I'm lame and crazy and I like to sing a lot so I sing to my baby and I'm a little weird and yeah so um I hope you guys like this video I hope you guys come back for more videos I hope you guys tell your friends about my channel and tell them how much you love me even if it's a lie just so they check me out and decide for themselves whether they like me or not okay yeah all right well adios goodbye I will be back shortly once I decide to edit another video. Come on.